If anybody has an individual who's locked up in prison that you care for, that you love, I'd advise you to pray for them. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so yeah. So apparently, we have some footage from inside of a correctional facility. And I'm just going to let you see the footage for yourself. And then I guess I'll come back with some commentary. Yeah, we on complete lockdown. So even that little bit of recreation that we had a chance to get outside to get away from people is now dead. Like, we just in here, look. All day. And, you know, guys is coughing. And there's just no way to escape it, bro. So... You know, if this is the last one you see me in, bro, know that I love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, not to sound like that, but shit, it's real. But, uh, you know, I'll call you later, man. We'll talk about it, bro. We'll discuss some stuff. Yeah. She refused. She I'm still in my rack. It's been three days ago. I haven't been able to see medical. And they won't, the guards won't listen. Yeah. It's hot in here. It's cold. Dang. I'm yeah. scared to death. I'm man. burning up right now. I'm yeah. cold at the same time. I was saying, what you think? What my you stomach, think? my stomach hurts. I can't, I can't, I can't even eat. Please, I just need help. Man, these yeah, folks need medical attention, man. This goes out to the public, man. This is an EMCF, man. They were going on in EMCF, man. For real, man. We need y'all help, man. These guys sick and everything, man. For real, man. We we really need y'all help, man. Look at it. I'm scared to death. I'm so scared. It hurts. It For hurts real. Bad. They won't get nobody no medical attention, man. That just sad, man. They were going on, man. It hurts. Right here, man. These guys got the flu, man. And it just, it, it scared me, man. They ain't doing nothing about it. Look at it, man. That just said, man. Man, get them folks, man. Tell them, po them police bullshit. Oh, yeah, see you We see, see how we been doing it, bro. How do we doing it? They won't even help nobody, man. See you All right, so. It's one of the things that I just want to point out real quick. I'm not going to take this long. The, the guy said it way better than I could say any of this stuff. I've been telling y'all about the prisons since before this even became what it is now. I was saying we need or the government or whoever's running the prisons need to figure out a way to isolate the prisons from the rest of society, which shouldn't be hard. I mean, I'm assuming it isn't, but what do I know, right? Right. 
maybe it's impossible but the reason in which why we was having this conversation previously is i am not really one of these people that believe in the 5g um corona thing i'm not one of those guys i'm really not but i don't disbelieve it so as long as we still have situations where you got people that are coming up sick that shouldn't be coming up sick then I'm just going to believe that there's a good chance that there's stuff going on that I'm not sure and I don't know about. I am going to try to follow the mandates that they set in, tr in, in hopes of protecting myself as best as possible. But that doesn't mean that I'm not curious as to uh, some of the things that I'm seeing, some of the things that I'm hearing, some of the information that we're requiring. They have tents set up, right? Just let's real quick so we can just understand what homeboy said. They got tents set up. He said he lost three people in his dorm alone. He didn't say he there was three people in the whole entire prison. He's saying they lost three people in his dorm alone. In the beginning of the video, video, I think he was basically saying people are dropping like flies. Now, the point that I want to make about all of this is, please, try to write the people in your prisons. I don't know if, if they're allowing anybody to get phone calls or what. I, they most likely aren't. But this particular dude got less than a year, non-violent crime, not a gang member, and I think he fitted one more criteria, and they still decided that they were not going to let him go. He says they're not going to let him go because as long as he stays there, they get money for him, which is true. And I do believe, no, real quick, I just want to point something out, right? When a person is dying there, who knows who died? They might be able to keep those people on the books as actually being alive. I'm not saying that they they are doing this. But what I'm saying is this is something that's possible. That they can keep the people on the books as being alive and keep getting paid for them. Anyway, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys thought about this. This is very sad. Um, very, very sad. Let me know what you guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?